Hey there, this video is going to show you how to uh, improve and clear out the energy around your heart and your high heart and your heart chakra. Now, when we're experiencing any kind of stress, heartache, heartbreak, including seeing what's going on with our loved ones as well as ourselves, and things outside of us that we love, like perhaps our city, our country, the world, Mother Earth, then we can get a whole lot of non-beneficial energy clogged up in our heart area. And that can lead, if it's not cleared out, it can lead to heart issues. And if you've lost a loved one at any time in your life, and who hasn't, especially by the time you get to be my age, you can have a whole lot of old stuff stored up in there. And it's really good just to get rid of it. As I've said in other videos, our loved ones who have passed, made their transition to the other side, they don't want us to suffer. I've done, I want to say interviews, but uh, called on some of their spirits and talked to them. And they always tell me to tell their loved ones, please tell them, get over the grief. I am so much better off than I ever was, and I'm not dead. I'm more alive than anyone on earth. So on that note, let us just do some quick clearing, and then I'll douse for myself and see if I can find anything so you can see how to douse four blocks in your heart. So <clears throat> let's just get started. We're going to clear the governing vessel meridian by running the palm of our hand facing our mouth over the top center of our face, top center of our head, down the back. And when you get to your neck, if it's comfortable with your arm and shoulder, continue on doing that. And if you have some range of motion problems with your shoulders, you can tap underneath your nose. Those are the endpoints of the governing vessel meridian. Uh, don't tap too hard. You can massage as well, especially if you're at night uh, laying in bed and you can't get to sleep. Just let it go. And just start talking about the things in your life that are difficult for you to take that you know you may feel heartache or heartbreak about them right just uh I just release and I'm going to go through the five fears that I generally work on with my clients I release all my fears of failure maybe heartbroken because I can't find a job or the job I'm in no one appreciates me or I feel like a failure with my family Maybe I could have done better with my kids or my spouse or other family members. I let go of my fears of that I'm a failure that are causing this heartbreak, this heartache. I also release my fears of failure for my country. The things that are going on around the world, I release my fears about Mother Earth and failure for her to recover from all this distress and the abuse poured upon her by the large corporations and such. I also release my fears causing any dark, dense energy around my heart, fears that I'm not safe. Release my fears that my loved ones aren't safe, that Mother Earth isn't safe, that my neighborhood isn't safe anymore, that we're not safe from the diseases floating around in there, can't even go to the store anymore. I let go of my fear and terror from all the emotional terrorism that has affected my heart that's come from the mass media trying to keep us afraid, terrorizing us through uh, fear, constant fear mongering. I let go of that fear. Let's also release a little bit here of compassion fatigue, fear fatigue. COVID fatigue, just letting it all go, stress fatigue, releasing now fears that these bad times are never going to end, whether they be in your personal life, in your loved one's lives, in your community, in the world, just clearing all that out now. We're going to release our fears of rejection and abandonment, including by loved ones, by our animal friends by people we count on, rejection and abandonment, like a job loss. I know so often we store our fears of loss and the actual loss itself in our heart, almost like we're trying to keep it there, letting go of any feelings of loss in our hearts now. 
And we're going to clear out also these fears that with success comes consequences and heartbreak. Releasing our fears now from all the times that we were perhaps in relationships with a loved one, even a friend, and we had such a good relationship, and we were rejected or abandoned, or in my case, one of my dearest friends ever. We've been friends over 40 years. She died last year. Letting go of that heartache and that heartbreak, and one of my friends was murdered a long time ago, but sometimes it still comes up. Just letting this all go, that when you be successfully become friends with someone or start a relationship with them, whether it be a love relationship, any kind of work relationship, because people we work with are like our family, right? <sighs> that we're going to lose them eventually, and that hurts so much. Just letting that go. Fear that with relationships and love and heart issues comes consequences. <sighs> Clearing all that out now. That's all you have to do is talk about what you're afraid of or maybe what issues that you feel affected your heart, especially, again, the loss of a loved one, especially the death of a loved one. When my dad died 21 years ago, I felt like someone had just stabbed my heart and just pulled it down. And just this sort of energy of, of blood and heartache and fear and terror. I mean, he loved me unconditionally. And he always supported me. He is such a great dad. And when he was gone, I just couldn't stop this feeling like my life would never be the same. It was all over. It took me years to get over him. But his death pushed me into learning about this natural healing because no one else could help me. Right? The doctors couldn't, therapists. I was just a wreck for a long time. But so there was something good that came out of it. And that's a good thing to think about, right? Out of all this craziness going on, Something good's got to come out of it, right? Like the old saying goes, there's got to be a rose underneath all that manure, right? The rose has got to be growing somewhere. So look for the roses and take good care of yourselves. And now for those of uh, you who are interested in dowsing, I'm just going to check on myself right here. And this I douse, which is a way to connect into your intuition and read your own energy or read other people's energy and such. All you have to do is think about what you want to work on and start asking questions and dows. Uh, some people use a pendulum. I use my hands because, you know, pendulums you for can forget at home, but always got your hands with you, right? And this is a yes answer. This is a no answer. Okay, so I'm just going to ask. There are one or more very strong fear-based emotions uh, stuck in my heart right now that could be damaging, physically damaging my heart right now. Oh, lovely. Okay. I'm just going to ask the obvious. The first one is about the world and what's going on with the world and my country. Even though sometimes I feel like I'm not of this world, but I'm definitely in this world, and I have an attachment for everything going well, especially the recovery of Mother Earth's health and wellness and of my own country and I guess the entire planet. So uh, I would just define to myself what I want to clear and just start releasing this fear that bad times are never going to end, fear that I'm not safe, fear that my loved ones are not safe, fear that Mother Earth is never going to recover until all the humans are gone off this planet, letting it all go now. Because holding on to this fear in my heart and this heartbreak and this heartache when I see things. Even people leaving their their masks, their COVID masks, throwing them on the street. What the hell? Releasing my anger and rage about that. See, it's, it's just coming up to be released. Let it go. Get angry. Cry if you need to. Just express your emotions and let it go. Then you douse to see if it's gone. Okay, I, as human Colleen, have... Uh, still fears in my heart that could be causing physical ailments in my heart uh, about Mother Earth, about my country, my neighborhood, about seeing all the terrible things going on. Whew, that's great. I have another fear stuck in my heart, obviously about my mom and seeing her rapid decline, her mental decline. She's in her 90s now. People say, well, that's to be expected. Well, F that, okay? No. I release all my fears about my mom and seeing her, her mental decline. 
the sadness and sorrow that I've been carrying around here. Feeling so responsible, being the firstborn, wishing to God as a healer that I could find a way to just help her and everyone else with dementia or Alzheimer's, any of these mental problems, mental illnesses, whether they come from uh, old age or, or any condition. Letting it all go now. Okay. I still feel very sad or sorry or, or fearful in my heart about my mom and her issues. Okay, see how simple it is? You just find what you're looking for as far as what could be emotions stuck in your energy that are not allowing the body to, for its natural healing and wellness to take place every second. And you clear it out. I'm already feeling lighter and happier. I hope you've been sort of following along and feeling better yourself. Is there, are there one or more fears now locked in my heart area that could be causing some kind of issues or physical ailments or anything like that? Is there any further clearing to be done at this time? No. All right. That's it. So please go ahead and just clear yourself. Let the emotions go so you can feel free and strong and happy and healthy and you can help your loved ones and the rest of the world and shine your light because you're a treasure. And you're here for a reason. And if you don't know that reason right now, it'll come eventually. Let go of your fear. Let go of my fear that I don't know what my life purpose is and I never will. Just see, think about what's bothering you and clear it out. That's all you have to do to create a life of love and peace and joy and bliss. So be it. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my website, emorescue.com. I got all kinds of videos, audios, free ebooks, articles, things to help you along your path, also your animal friends, and of course your family and other loved ones as well. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Namaste. When you learn to douse, the universal wisdom is yours for the asking. Please check out my book, Fearless Accurate Dowsing, and any of my self-healing books, all available and very affordable on Amazon. Thank you.